In this video, we're going to talk about fractions, basic operations with them, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Now, unlike regular numbers where adding is usually what you learn first because it's easier and then multiplying is a little bit more difficult, here, as we'll see just procedurally with fractions, adding is actually harder than multiplying because the only way you can actually procedurally add two fractions is if they have the same denominator. So you got to find common denominators before you can add. Same with subtraction. But for multiplication and division, you don't need that. Even if they're denominated or different, you could just go right into multiplying and you'll be done. So let's, uh, let's talk about the procedure and how it works. So for adding two fractions, if you already have the same denominator, for example, one-fifth plus two-fifths, they have the same denominator, that's the number on the bottom. Well then, all you gotta do is add the numerators, the tops. So that's gonna be one plus two, which is three. And the denominators, they're the same, but you don't add them, right? So it's not gonna be 10 on the bottom, but just five, right? So that's just the procedure of how you add fractions when the denominators are already the same. Keep the denominator the same, add the numerators, bam, you're done. If that was a subtraction, then you just subtract the numerators. All right, but what about this, where uh, the denominators are not the same? Well, before you do what we just did, you just got to add one step at the beginning, which is you got to make the denominators the same. You got to make them equal to each other. Now, how do you do that? Well, the trick is to multiply the top and the bottom by whatever you need to to make the denominators, a common multiple. So basically, long story short, first, let's think about the target. What do we want our target denominator to equal? Well, with three and four, uh, the least common multiple of these guys is 12. So basically, uh, we want to make the denominators here 12. So how are we going to make the denominator 12? Well, if we multiply this by four on the bottom, well, then that three will be three will become a 12. But here's the thing, it's illegal to just go around and multiply the denominator of random fractions by four, but it's legal if you also multiply the numerator by four, because that's the same thing as multiplying the top and the bottom by four. That's like you're multiplying by one, and if you're multiplying by one, you're really not changing the value. So long story short, if I multiply the top and the bottom by the same number, uh, that's legal. That's not changing the value, this number, is still two-thirds. But now, by doing it this way, the top is now two times four, which is eight, and the bottom is now three times four, which is 12. Now, similarly to this other guy, one-fourth, I'm gonna multiply it by, well, let's see, four, I gotta multiply that by three in order to get that to equal 12. Then I also gotta multiply the top by three. So now, multiplying this one-fourth by three over three gets you three over 12 because four times three is 12. So long story short, notice again, just to recap, three twelfths, you might already know this, is the same thing as the number one fourth. So really all we've done by multiplying the top and the bottom by something uh, is really we're just changing how these two numbers look, but we're not changing their values. And so long story short, here, this is now a problem that's much easier to solve because the denominators are the same. So that means we get 12 as the denominator because you keep it the same, you don't add them. And you do add the numerator, so 8 plus 3 is 11. So that's our final answer. All right, now how do we do a subtraction? So to, to subtract two fractions, you're basically going to do the same procedure. Step one, make sure the denominators are the same. And then step two, keep the denominator the same and just subtract the numerators. So, all right, to make these two denominators the same, let's see, one of them's five, the other's 10. Now, well, let's see, it's sort of easy to make five into 10, you just multiply it by two. So what we can do here is if we multiply this guy by two over two, then, and this is true, whenever one denominator is a multiple of the other, you could just take the smaller one Multiply that by whatever you need to to get it to equal the larger one, and then you're done. But again, that might not always work out like that first problem. If, if it doesn't, if, it's, if they have nothing in common, then 
the trick here is you just multiply it literally by the other denominator, right? Here, we could literally multiply the 3 by the 4 and the 4 by the 3, and then it's guaranteed that they'll be the same. But again, here, uh, if, if you get lucky where they have some common factors, then, you know, you, you might not have to do that. But anyway, long story short, here, you multiply this first term by uh, 2 over 2, and that'll make it 8, because 4 times 2, over 10, because 5 times 2, and then we have minus 7 over 10, and now keep the denominator the same, 10, but subtract the numerators. 8 minus 7 is just 1, so our final answer here is 1 10. So that's adding and subtracting. What about multiplying and dividing? Well, let's take these same two problems and see how our answer would change if we were multiplying instead. So, for example, this first one, what if it was 2 thirds times 1 fourth? Well, the good news is it's easy. You actually just literally multiply the numerators with each other and multiply the denominators with each other, and you're done. So here you would just do 2 times 1 is 2 on the numerator, and 3 times 4 is 12 on the denominator, and that's it. That's the answer. If you wanted to, you could reduce that fraction. You could simplify that, and that would be 1 sixth. Uh, but yeah, that's how you multiply fractions. For dividing, if on the other hand, if it was division, then let's see. So if that problem was instead 2 thirds divided by 1 fourth, you just got to do one little thing before you multiply. You essentially multiply by the reciprocal. Reciprocal just means you switch the numerator and the denominator. So here, instead of 2 thirds divided by 1 fourth, we're just going to say that that problem is. 2 thirds multiplied by not 1 over 4, but rather 4 over 1. Notice that it's, it's incorrect to say that you could just flip one of them and then multiply them. No, you have to always flip the second one. Now, the order doesn't matter in multiplying, but it does in division, right? So if you're doing A divided by B, you got to basically take the reciprocal of B, the second thing. So here, 2 thirds divided by 1 fourth means you're going to flip specifically the 1 fourth. But once you do that, then you multiply, and so that's going to then be 2 times 4 is 8 in the numerator, 3 times 1 is 3 in the denominator, and that's your answer.